All right, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Uh, this is a show that I'm currently going to call hashtag vibes by Black Merc or hashtag vibes with Black Merc. You know, um, I think over the next coming weeks we'll definitely uh, figure out a name for the show. But this is my radio podcast uh, coming at you all the way from South Africa in Johannesburg and Brown for Tea. And, you know, this is basically a show, me talking about the things that I do as a DJ, as a musician, but also topics that uh, I like to uh, basically think about or that I take interest in, you know, when it comes to what's happening in society, when it comes to happening um, in terms of sports, uh, arts and culture, in terms of food, you know, the things that really, really, really interest me. So I think I'm going to start off by saying, yes, I am Black Merc, all the way from South Africa. I am a producer, I am a musician, I am a DJ, somebody who loves life, somebody who um, is an extrovert, somebody who you know likes being out there with the people, enjoying myself and having a good time. So coming at you live from these beautiful studios out here in Brompton, hashtag vibes by Black Merc or hashtag vibes with Black Merc, we'll see <laughs> over the coming weeks. And then I'm also going to be having guests as well people who are involved in different professions so from chefs to artists to people who are in corporate people who are in legal accountants we'll see we'll see as the weeks go by um how things work out and who can i get in the studio but you know first show uh episode one you know i'm all by myself out here uh going to start off by talking about the different topics that i mentioned initially and then i'm also going to put together a mix with i mean what is a radio podcast without a mix you know what is a dj without a mix without the music so yeah um it is thursday today the 23rd of uh july uh 2020 in south africa also uh being that uh, we're living in the world of you know uh quarantine and being safe you know and you know staying at home as much as possible if you can be safe um, I'd like to reiterate that message is be home, be safe, and this too shall pass and we'll definitely get back, you know, to our normal lives. So, yeah, um, a bit about myself, as I said, young man, Archer in Johannesburg. Um, I'm a DJ, I do produce music, I also write music as well. So when I'm working with a particular vocalist, for example, I'll come through, um, you know, with the beat, I'll work on the beat and then I'll have like a concept in my head. And then I'll basically write a song based on... Um, the vibe, you know, the vibes of the track. Where is this track going? What does it do? Um, how does it make me feel? You know, is it one of those tracks where it's going to be a dance track? Is it a love song? Or are we trying to portray a particular message in the music? Um, that's basically, you know, my world, the world that I live in. Um, I am a tech guru by profession, you know. Gotta make sure that I pay the bills, but, you know, we're also tapping into our talents here and there, um, you know, so that we can also live out our dreams and, you know, express our passions, especially to the world. So if there is a word of encouragement that I can give to a young person out there or to young people out there is um, focus on your talents as well. Focus on your gifts, you know, um, continue to work hard to improve yourself, to hone your skills, to build yourself, you know. Um, also living in the world of the fourth industrial revolution, we need to be um, diverse um, in our approach to life, um, in our approach to our cultures, in our approach um, to how we handle ourselves out there. Um, you should not only view yourself as a human being, but view yourself as a brand as well. You know, what can you bring to the table, um, um, you know, that enhances, you know, the living spaces that you're in or enhances the community that you're in. You know, treat yourself like a brand and continue to build yourself. So, as I mentioned earlier, um, I take a lot of interest in sports, um, I take a lot of interest in food, I take a lot of interest in technology, being that I'm a tech guru, um, um, you know, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much, you know, what uh, Black Merc is all about. So, today, being the first show, I've got a couple of topics that I'd like to talk about. Um, the one topic is going to be sports, definitely. Um, what's happening in South Africa, what's happening around the world. Um, we're going to be talking about food as I mentioned i um, going to be talking about motoring as well you know um, definitely into cars and definitely into understanding in terms of the motoring space you know what's happening what's new or what are the regulations you know so it's going to be 
pretty cool really looking forward to the show and thank you for tuning in as i said this is going to be the first of many hashtag vibes by black work or hashtag vibes with black work we'll see <laughs> we'll keep you know what i'm saying we'll decide on a name in due time you know what's easy to say what's catchy you know what makes sense and that's basically what it's all about so yeah today being on thursday you know before the weekend obviously um you know before lockdown we were able to you know go out to our favorite places you know to enjoy a gig or go out to our favorite restaurants and have some food link up with our friends but now it's a little bit different because we gotta kind of you know quarantine at home and chill so i know a lot of people are probably you know after long days at work they just wanna like be at home chilling binge watching on their favorite shows or you know watching their favorite sports a lot of sports are being played behind closed doors right now you know as countries and governments are around the world you know ease uh, lockdown restrictions but in a safe um, 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 possible way so yeah into the sports uh, section or what I'd like to talk about in terms of sports um, one of our very own Banyana Banyana superstars her name is Timmy Katlana has completed a move to Spain so before or previously she was playing for the Portuguese Giants Benfica um, but now she has obviously completed a move to a Spanish club known as Ibar. So, you know, she's going to basically be playing in the female version of the La Liga, which is excellent news for all the young ladies out there who want to pursue a career um, in sports, you know, um, especially in soccer, you know. Um, you don't uh, necessarily only have to concentrate on uh, what's happening locally, but you can also look to uh, going overseas um, to places like you know, Portugal, places like Spain, um, the Banyana Superstar um, basically uh, had a stunning, 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 um, um, how can I call it, a stunning uh, showing um, at the uh, FIFA uh, Women's World Cup in France 2019 where she scored, you know, some stunning goals and, you know, this is basically where the, the scouts um, were able to, you know, see her and be like, okay, this young lady's got a lot of talent, so, you know, we should probably hit her to be able to come through. She's played in the United States and, you know, has also played in China as well. So, in terms of her her uh, reservoir, um, um, resume, sorry, not reservoir, <laughs> in terms of her resume, she's got a very good resume in terms of where she's been able to apply to her trade as, you know, a footballer. So, congratulations to you, Katana, and, you know, all the best for you out there, all the way to Spain, you know, we're going to be rooting for you here at home. Um, in terms of the PSL, so um, FIFA and the government have given the uh, PSL the green light to resume. Obviously behind closed doors, you know, observing all protocol in terms of a medical perspective. Um, and Mami Lodi Sundowns, who had recorded five uh, COVID-19 cases amongst staff and, you know, members of the playing staff, um, have had five recoveries, which is uh, very good news for the club and in general very good news for you and me to say that you know we can indeed uh, beat um, this virus so yeah following the PSL's green light for club to train Mamelodi Sundowns player technical team and support staff went for the second COVID-19 test while the training grounds were being fumigated and preparing for the team and the training program was also revised in accordance with the protocol so it's definitely good to see that uh, we get into a place where the PSL can resume um, in the next couple of weeks. So definitely looking forward to that. I mean, I'm an avid um, football um, spectator or football fan myself. So I definitely look forward um, to the resumption of the league. Um, yesterday, Liverpool lifted their first Premier League title after 30 years. So since 1990, you know, Liverpool lifted their first um, uh, Premier League title and it was insane because being 25 points um, ahead of second place uh, Manchester City before the lockdown, you know, uh, the, the, the anxiety was there you know, for the team to lift their first Premier League title in 30 years. And with the uncertainty that came with the lockdowns and the shutdowns, um, you know, I can imagine the anxiety amongst the players or even the fans as well to say, are we actually going to get, you know, our uh, Premier League title? Um, after 30 years so um yeah um excellent match against uh chelsea that they played last night and yeah Jurgen klopp who is the manager uh, coach of uh, liverpool fc reveled in a special feeling of lifting the premier league trophy after liverpool's final home game of the season 
A pulsating 5 3 victory over Chelsea preceded the champions' crowning moments of glory with goals by Nabi Keita, Trent Alexander Arnold, Jorginho Wijnaldum, Roberto Firmino, his first goal at Anfield all season, and Alex Oxley Chamberlain um, seeding a 31st win of a remarkable record breaking campaign. We do know that um, they're the first team to have won the Premier League with seven games to go, so that was definitely, definitely a special, special, special night. And on how it feels to have got his hands on the trophy, the Liverpool manager said, absolutely special. We don't compare as uh, we haven't won it before. It could have been better and we know that and it could have been worse if we had not won. Uh, these boys are so special. I couldn't be more proud of him throwing in a performance like this tonight on the pitch in an open game. Obviously, but nice, nice goals, incredible goals, super football in moments. I love the game, so we could enjoy it so far, and we enjoyed the rest of the night. Yeah, I mean, that's a German, you know, those are quoted words <laughs> from the Liverpool <laughs> website. Um, just some more um, football to look forward to over the weekend is obviously the final round of fixtures in the Premier League. Um, with, you know, relegation battle was quite high. Obviously, Norwich, you know, being put the bottom club has already been con confirmed as relegated but yeah um champions league is still up for grabs for teams like chelsea teams like leicester and teams like man united so chelsea versus wolves is another quite big game because wolves obviously want to also be in europe and obviously leicester now being a point behind united you know leicester versus united is another big game that can decide who is going to qualify for the champions league so definitely looking forward to that um in some motoring news as we mentioned we do love motorsport we do love cars out here um hamilton um pre uh, just this past weekend won the hungarian grand prix um it was the third grand prix of the season and he's obviously back you know on top of the points table uh, mercedes are also leading the constructors championship over there so the next grand prix is obviously going to be the great britain grand prix and that is going to be taking place next weekend with practice one on the 31st of july so we definitely look forward to that uh lewis hamilton just a little bit of history is a six-time world champion and he's basically chasing his seventh world championship which would equal that of michael schumacher so that would be absolutely absolutely amazing if he's able to capture that title and some cricket news for all of those you know who love the bat and the ball you know uh the indian premier league is set to take place in the UAE, um, it was obviously cancelled earlier on in the year due to the COVID 19 pandemic. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be taking place around September in the United Arab Emirates. So we're definitely going to keep our eyes on that, um, you know, and see if the IPL going to take place. So yeah, slowly, slowly but surely, we're getting back to things in, in, in the world. And you know, it's lovely to finally have some nice So as we know, um, July is the peak of our winter season in South Africa. And for a foodie like myself, you know, you really want to make sure that you're able to eat food. First of all, that keep you healthy. But the foods that are also like warm food, comfort food, home food. So I've got a couple of uh, recipes um, that I'd like to share with you. And you know, perhaps you could try it at home if you're a chef or if you're a foodie you know um to see you know are you going to enjoy this during uh, our winter winter period um so the first food that i like to talk about is baked amasi pudding with caramel banana you know as soon as you hear the word amasi you know that this can only be a south african dish because where are you gonna get amasi overseas <laughs> or anywhere in africa for that matter but hey if I'm wrong, you can always hit me, you can always school me, you know, on the socials and then you know, oh, you can get Hamas in Zambia, or you can get Hamas in Zimbabwe, or in Ghana, you know what I mean, if you all travel like that. So, the ingredients that basically go into the baked Hamas pudding with caramel pudding. by the way, this is also just good, so this is for all of those people who got a sweet, sweet tongue, right? You're gonna have to have some 60 ml of butter, you know what I mean, 60 ml of butter, 125 mls of sugar, you gotta have 2 eggs, 250 mls of flour cake, 10 mls of baking powder, salt, yeah, just a pinch of salt, 200 mls of butter mold, caramel bananas, 4 bananas, 50 mls of brown sugar, 50 mls of butter again, 50 mls of golden syrup, 
um, to serve with ice cream or whipped cream. So technically, you, you gotta have a sweet tooth for this kind of thing out of five. It's not for you, right? So this is basically the method of how you prepare. Because you don't want to burn, you know, you don't want to be like this, hey, you need to in, uh, you know, the person that you stay with, or how they want, you don't want to be there, like, eating food. So the method of preparation is the following, right? You got to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Grease um, a medium oven proof dish with non-stick spray. Rock trust the non-stick spray, hey? got to make sure that you got that, otherwise it's going to fix it. It's just... Who wants to eat from that when I start to prepare? So, step one, you put the cream, um, yeah, the pudding cream, butter, and the sugar until it's black. You add the eggs to the mixture one at a time, whisking after each addition. You sift the flour, baking powder, and salt into a separate bowl, then gradually add the egg mixture, alternating the amas, right? Step three, transfer the batter to the prepared dish and bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until light brown and cooked through. You know, it's gotta rise. It's gotta rise and rise, like how we're rising and rising right now. Caramel bananas, um, half one banana length and sprinkle the cut size with the half sugar. Grease the pan with non-stick uh, spray and put the bananas in the pan, sugar side down, fry until caramelized, remove and set aside, slice the rest of the bananas, heat the butter in the same pan and add the rest of the sugar and golden syrup. Heat until the sugar has started to melt and then slice the bananas, fry until soft and caramel color. To serve, you serve with a spoon, sliced uh, banana caramel over the pudding, Top with the banana hops and serve with ice cream or cream. So definitely a nice winter dessert during the winter season while it's still July all the way in Numzanti. All right. So the next um, dish I'd like to speak about, it's not a dessert, this is like a proper dish. You know, this is a proper dish. It's basically called the spicy chipotle bean chili. Guys, if I'm pronouncing these words wrong, please somebody of the English fraternity, English language, Please don't let me, let me know. This is how you say it, but according to what I'm reading now, it's a spicy chipotle bean chili, right? Um, this is definitely, you know, one of those homely meals. You know, it's a bean chili. It's like a soup, so if you're in the mood for a soup. I say bega, I say bega, I say steak chili, you know what I'm saying? I say moho, you know what I mean? Okay, bean chili, what I want. Spicy chipotle bean chili. All right, the ingredients. One bunch of fresh coriander. You gotta have one chopped red onion. You gotta have one peeled and cubed carrot. Uh, you gotta have some 45 mils of vegetable oil, two cloves, garlic cloves, finely chopped. You gotta have one red pepper cubed, 15 mils of chipotle paste, uh, 400 gram tiny kidney beans, which are drained. Yeah, don't forget that. Um, 30 mils of tomato paste, 500 grams fresh tomatoes chopped. Uh, one raw vegetable stock pot, you know, we, we, we love no in South Africa, you know, 100 mils of water, gotta have the water, uh, 5 mils of Robinson's dried or oregano, salt, pepper, and then you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna serve it with rice, fajitas, or tortilla chips, you know, you know the tortilla chips, we, we steal that from the Mexicans, if tortilla comes from Mexico, <laughs> I'm just guessing based on, you know, things that I've seen on TV or in the movies, you know? And then, you know, you gotta add some Greek uh, yogurt or sour cream to serve. Very nice. So now, this is the method of preparation and serving, right? You gotta cut off the stalks of the coriander, set the leaves aside for later, and put them in a mini chopper or food processor with the onions and carrots. Press the pulse button a few times to chop the vegetables finely. Heat the oil in a large pan and add the chopped onions, carrots, and coriander stalks, along with the garlic, red pepper, and chipotle paste. Stir fry for a few minutes until the vegetables begin to soften. You know what I mean? Stir it in drained beans, tomato paste, chopped tomato, no vegetable stock pots, water and oregano, and season to taste with salt and pepper. Cover with a lid and cook over a medium high heat for about 15 to 20 minutes, stirring frequently. You know, you gotta get the stirs in it. You know how I mix when I'm mixing here as a DJ? There, you gotta stir, you gotta stir. And then you divide the chili between four balls and you top it up with the, res with the reserved fresh coriander leaves plus a dollop of sour cream or Greek yogurt served with wild rice or corn fajita, as I mentioned, or with some tortilla chips on the side. So those are the two recipes you can check out this week, guys. Try them out. Let me know if they're dope. Give me your ideas of what you'd like me to talk about next time around. 
it's all good you gotta hit me on the social media that's at black milk on instagram um website is www.blackmilk.com i love it all right so the next segment i love to talk about is technology as i mentioned i am a tech guru um this is a subject that's very dear to my heart and i mean even in the studio right now as you can see we've got all of this lovely tech going on so that we can bring you all of these lovely podcasts and this lovely content that we like to put together and we like to generate right so one of the big contentious topics right now um in our country is the issue of schools opening or reopening during the peak of you know this pandemic that we live in and i think one thing that um a lot of institutions especially higher learning institutions are involved in is remote learning remote learning is basically meaning that you are learning outside of the physical premises where you would naturally be to learn so whether it's a school or a university or whatever the case may be remote learning is being able to do that remotely as in from home right so that requires you to have some sort of an internet connection whether it's by wi-fi whether it's by data um you gotta have also some sort of hardware a device so whether you're using a smartphone or whether you're using your laptop you need to be able to have that internet connection so that you can log on to the portals um the educational portals that is of the institution that you registered in and that is basically what remote learning is all about and i think in these times that we're living in now um especially with the fourth industrial revolution as well it's about time that institutions um get to grips with how they can best publish study material online um in order for students to be able to consume all of that and in order for the students to, you know to be able to um, communicate with teachers or lecturers online you know to be able to submit their assignments online you know to be able to write their exams and make practical and stuff like that online because um that is basically what keeps the educational system going if we are learning remotely or we are learning from home so that is one big thing that i believe right now is very um important and it's something that you know we need to invest in as um you know um educators um, and students as well, right? Another very um, interesting sort of tech uh, um, world uh, kind of box, kind of box, kind of box is your grocery deliveries, right? So um, right now you've got a lot of um, companies um, where you can uh, order takeaways online, for example. So you go onto the app and then you say, I feel like some chicken today, or I feel like a bear today, or I feel like it, whatever it is that you have, I feel like a salad, you know what I'm saying? If you a person who's into salad or that kind of stuff. So since you can already do that online, wouldn't it be awesome to be able to buy your groceries online as well? You know, so grocery delivery um, 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 you know, via online is definitely something that's also growing right now. Um, instead of having to be in supermarkets, I mean, in a world where we have to socially distance, in a world where we can only have a certain number of patrons in a certain place, um, at a certain time frame, some of us don't necessarily want to expose ourselves with having to go to the supermarkets or go there and there and there to get things. So, you know, the grocery delivery um, online space is definitely growing and um, it's something that is very important, um, especially since we're talking about the whole industrial revolution right now, which involves being able to do things online and remotely. So, I would say that, you know, in terms of the tech feature these, this week, those are the two things that I definitely like to highlight, you know, remote learning and online grocery delivery. Yeah. Okay. So the next segment is we're going to talk about a bit of motor. Um, not necessarily reviewing a car um, or a motorbike or a jet ski, etc. That will come in a later stage. Today, I just wanted to highlight a few things about people who may be struggling with a driver's license expiring during lockdown <laughs> you know and also not being comfortable to go to a place where there could be a lot of crowded people who need to sort out your paper so these are some of um well this is some of the information coming out from the department of transport uh regarding you know uh like um driver's licenses and expiring right so the department of um transport has published a new directive outlining the new validity periods for licenses in South Africa. Excuse me. While the country's licensing centers have been open for several months, services have been greatly impacted as a growing number of employees um, are testing positive, right? 
um, which is you know forcing certain places to close because obviously we need to fumigate they need to sanitize now etc so in doing so, um, in understanding the complexity that we're dealing with with this pandemic you know new guidelines have been issued to say okay you know your grace period will be extended for a certain number of weeks until we reach a point where we're able to safely go out there and get our documents funny enough going back to technology um if there were online platforms where people can be able to renew licenses and that you know i think that would be brilliant so to address these issues and partly the extended the validity period for some expired licenses until the start of 2021 great news right these dates are outlined in more detail look so 31st of august 2020 all motor vehicle license discs, temporary permits, and road warranty certificates that expire during the peri period that commenced from the 26th of March 2020 up to and including the 31st of May 2020 are deemed to be valid, and their validity period is extended for a further grace period ending 31 August 2020. Great news! 13 November 2020 motor trade number licenses that expired during the period from 26 March up to and including 31 May 2020 are, are deemed to be valid and are extended for a further grace period ending 30 November 2020. 31 January 2021, all learner licenses, driving license cards, temporary driving licenses, and professional driving permits that expire during the period from March 2020 up to and including 31 August 2020 are deemed to be valid and their validity period is extended for a further grace period ending on 31 January 2021. So if you are a logistics company, for example, and you own a fleet of vehicles, you know, a lot of um, what has been detailed here um, is um, pertaining to you know you and your fleet and you know your your staff. So definitely check out the Department of Transport Regulation in terms of licensing and even just you know uh, a normal you know South African patron. Um, you wonder if your license disc has expired or your license itself. Those grace periods have obviously been in. And that is basically what I'd love to say about motoring on that this week. Some informative information and that you can use going forward right okay so that's you know pretty much the gist of today's show and this is basically how you know hashtag vibes by black Merkel, or hashtags hashtag vibes with black milk is going to go going forward a couple of topics here um let me pick up and then um speak on that and i'll engage you and i would really really love it if you engage me on social media as well so that i can you know improve the show and improve myself as well i did also mention that you know i'm looking forward to having guests as well so if you are interested in becoming a guest you know just go on to www.blackmilk.com send me an email uh send me a dm on, on instagram and let's see what we can do i'll feature you on hashtag vibes by black milk or hashtag vibes with black milk still gotta figure out the name of the podcast it's all good so in doing so i'd like to do my show. first of all i'd like to thank you for you know your time um for checking out the podcast for engaging i would love to say this and this is just some motivation that i would like to impart to you when you are born to do something do not ignore the urge to pursue it your mind and the universe will always give you signs of what you need to pursue in life. Everybody has unique gifts and talents and you should always pay attention to the random urges that you will get to pursue something. You will feel those urges in your stomach and may be fearful to pursue your God-given talents. However, you have to be fearless in pursuit of your greatness. We all have greatness within us. We just need to tap into that greatness and express it to the world. Work hard, play hard and have a peace of mind knowing that you are pursuing your greatness that is me black milk right now coming at you all the way from south africa brown for team i love you thank you so much now what i got next is the mix because you know what's a dj without the mix what's a dj without the, the the music so you definitely gotta check that out i love you thank you i will see you again next week with another awesome 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 podcast uh, but for now let us enjoy the music baby